Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Review UK and a massive spoiler filled video about life. This is a warning guys, this is a massively spoiler filled video. I'm going to be talking about everything about the film including the ending so if you don't want that switch off now and I have done a spoiler free review. So for anyone who is just simply watching this video because you want to know about the film and what the spoilers are and you haven't actually seen the film, basically they get samples back from Mars, tiny little life form on it, a single celled organism and it grows and grows and grows to be you know, quite a large, sizable beast, an alien, very powerful, very vicious, it's adapting to survive by any means necessary, and those means are killing the uh, anyone in its, in its immediate vicinity. The culminating moments of the film have got to the last two remaining members of the crew, because the movie is set on the International Space Station, so the last two remaining members who are alive uh, hurtling out on pods. One of them, Jake Gyllenhaal, being heroic and uh, pushing the alien away from Earth because they want to avoid the alien getting onto Earth because if it does, it's so powerful that it could wipe out the human race. Fuck! Pretty important. Um, and then the other individual uh, hurtling towards Earth to survive. In the end of the film, uh, these two, two uh, pods are shooting away. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's character is trying to pull the thrusters away from Earth. Um, and then Rebecca Ferguson's character is hurtling towards Earth, uh, as I say, to live. Um, a pod does indeed make it down to Earth and it lands in water. And some fishermen approach it. Um, and we, the viewer, do not realise until the very end that actually the pods have made it in the wrong way round. So there's a really nice shot where one pod is kind of hurtling towards Earth and one pod is going out into space. Um, and we're cut in between the internal um, sites of the escape pods they are. So obviously we're hoping that Rebecca Ferguson's character is going to make it down to Earth. Um, and these fishermen approach it and they realise that actually it's the alien in this pod and Jake Gyllenhaal's character is miraculously still alive even though the alien has been brutally killing all the other people. Um, but Jake Gyllenhaal's character is, is obscured, he's in some kind of webbing that the alien has created. He's saying, no, 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 don't open the capsule. But these fishermen, they're fucking smashing it open. Uh, so the fishermen do indeed open the capsule and so Earth is fucked. And then after this we see... Rebecca Ferguson's character giving a very emotive reaction to the fact that she is flying off into space and will die, will perish, which is really horrible, really horrible thought. Uh, so that's the end of the film, that is the twist ending, I thought it was a really great ending. Uh, everyone I was with pretty much predicted that this is what was happening, I think it was uh, shot in a fairly... It was shot in, in such an ambiguous way that it was kind of obvious that it was leading towards that. I don't really want to take anything away from it because I actually thought it was a really cool ending. Very dramatic and really cool. And I loved the film overall, by the way. But that was perhaps slightly obvious, but not a bad thing. Uh, speaking for the rest of the film, absolutely horrifying to watch in places. Uh, the, the kind of the first violent act of the alien is horrifying. And that entire scene is so good. So... Um, what, uh, Hugh, I believe the character's name is Hugh. He's fiddling with the alien in one of those, um, you know, containment pods with the rubberized gloves, and he's um, basically touching it. Um, and the alien at this point is quite small, probably around this big, um, and it's got like two wavy little prong limbs. Uh, it kind of floats around in different shapes, and then eventually it lashes out and grabs the hand in the glove. And he's like, oh bugger, um, it's quite a firm grip actually. He's like, I'm not in pain, but it's like a handshake in that. Um, so like, yeah, we need to get him out. So he tries to pull it out, but the grip is too strong. Um, eventually it wraps around his hand more, gets tighter and tighter, and he's like, mate, it's fucked up. Um, and um, then the alien starts breaking his fingers. Absolutely fucked. Like, horrible scene. Really well done. Terrifying. Um, but absolutely fucked. Um, and yeah, it's just squeezing his hand to a point of absolute fucktity. Um, so, he then pulls his hand out. Um, and it's like, yeah, completely bruised, battered, completely floppy. Uh, which looks horrible and he pretty much faints. Uh, Ryan Reynolds' character then goes in to save him. Um... 
Actually, I should say, uh, I think what's happened actually by this point is the alien has picked up a prong that was used to poke it, grabbed it and taken it into the other glove and pushed, used its strength to push the needle through the glove and escape out of the containment pod. Brilliant. Again, showing the alien's intelligence and it's just a wonderful scene. Um, the next death is Ryan Reynolds. The alien essentially um, climbs into him and we don't see what it does but he starts coughing up blood uh, and well, not coughing up blood actually but just blood pours out of him in zero gravity so it looks amazing, very gory um, and he's just like jolting around like this, it's fucked up to be honest um, so I imagine the alien is just like fucking going to town on his internal organs just like smashing through it all uh, really fucked up uh, I thought he was going to do some invasion of the body snatchers stuff but uh, it didn't quite happen that way uh, and then there's some other films throughout the uh, from some other scenes throughout the film like uh, there is a disabled character who can't walk got no feeling in his legs and the alien has been eating off of his leg without him realizing it um, and so able to uh, stow catch a lift into a uh, unauthorized section of the ship uh, and then other scenes are uh, you know they, they don't get much worse than that really Really, really tremendous film though. Really enjoyed it. It's it's terrifying in the sense of its intensity, its gore, and its uh, feeling of claustrophobia and fear with this incredibly power, powerful, small critter who um, has got no, no kind of emotion seemingly, but just wanted to survive and kill. Uh, <laughs> it's really good. So if you want to see a full review, check out my non-spoiler filled video. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you are indeed new, do subscribe to the channel for more. And have a nice day and life. Have a nice life. <laughs> will the sequel be called Life on Earth? Or Life at Sea? Will they, will they do a sequel? What do you think? Bye.